finding the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of a pair of numbers. For example, starting with 48 and 64, we're going to use the grid method for doing this. We're going to write 48 and 64 next to each other and draw a line down here. I now need to find any factor of 48 and 64, so I could pick 2. I'm going to write 2 in this position over here, and underneath 48 and underneath 64, I'm going to write down the number which 2 would have to be multiplied by to produce a product of 48 or 64. So 2 multiplied by 24 makes 48, and 2 multiplied by 32 makes 64. 24 and 32 still have common factors. Another, a common factor of both of these could be 4, for instance. So I write the 4 in this position over here. And again, underneath 24 and 32, I write down the numbers that 4 would have to multiply with to create a product of 24 and then 32. So 4 multiplied by 6 produces 24, and 4 multiplied by 8 produces 32. 6 and 8 have a factor in common. They have 2 as a factor, which I write in this position here. And then I repeat the previous step. So here I write down 3 because 2 multiplied by 3 makes 6. And 2 multiplied by 4 makes 8. At this point, 3 and 4 have no factors other than 1 in common. They are co-prime. So we rule off over here. Now, to find the highest common factor, we simply multiply any numbers in this column together. So the highest common factor of 48 and 64 is 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2, which has a product of 16. So 16 is the highest common factor of 48 and 64. To find the lowest common multiple, we multiply these three numbers by these numbers along here. So we have to do 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2, which we already know is 16, multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4, which is 12. So the lowest common multiple is 16 multiplied by 12, which is equal to 192. Let's try this again with 84 and 96. So we're going to write 84 and 96 next to each other and draw down this vertical line. Now, we need to find any factor of 84 and 96. We're going to go with a simple answer of 2. Now, 2 multiplies by 42 to produce 84. And 2 multiplies by 48 to produce 96. 42 and 48 have a factor of 2 in common. 2 multiplies by 21 to produce 42, and it multiplies by 24 to produce 48. 21 and 24 have a factor of 3 in common. 3 times 7 is 21. And 3 multiplied by 8 is 24. 7 and 8 have no factors in common other than 1. So we rule off at this point here. The highest common factor is the product of the three numbers in the vertical column. So 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, which is 12. And the lowest common multiple is obtained by multiplying these numbers together. So the lowest common multiple is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 8. We know that 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 is 12, so it's the product of 12, 7, and 8, which is equal to 672. Now, let's see what would happen if you managed to choose the highest common factor first time round. So, 60 and 90 is our last example. Going to draw in this vertical line here. Let's suppose you straight away went with 30 as a factor, which would leave a 2 here and a 3 here, at which point you can't take this any further. Rule off at this point. The highest common factor, you simply chose it straight away, it's 30. And the lowest common multiple 
is the product of 30, 2 and 3, which has a value of 180.